A five-year-old girl is recovering from a head injury after being pushed off a school bus last week. And the principal at Maple Leaf Public School is investigating. CTV's Natalie Johnson is at the North York School with more. Natalie. Well, Ken, it must have been a huge shock for the young girl's family to greet her after school and discover a huge bump on her forehead and a bloody nose. In fact, a family member posted a picture of her injuries on social media, appalled at what had happened on the bus. It was as the little girl was getting off an Atridge school bus at her stop last Thursday afternoon that she sustained these injuries, according to her family, after being pushed down the steps by an older student. An incident that shocked parents at Maple Leaf Public School. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Well, that's actually really disturbing, that picture. Um, I mean, you got a lot of kids on the, on the bus and everything, I guess, a little horsing around. The girl's cousin posted the image on Twitter, writing, So my five-year-old cousin who rides the school bus to and from school got bodied off the bus by fifth graders on her way home. The school board said in a statement, This past Thursday, a student was getting off the school bus after school and was pushed by another student. As a result, the student fell to the ground, injuring her head on the pavement below. This is unacceptable behavior, and the principal, who became aware of the incident this morning, is investigating to determine what happened and who was involved. The girl's cousin alleged on Twitter that the vice principal said what happens on the bus happens on the bus. But the TDSB says the VP does not recall saying anything of that nature. School bus driver Peter Kim did not know about this incident, but says he pulls over the bus and reports any violence to the school anytime it happens. How often does that happen, would you say? Not so often. Not so often. Usually, I, I, I worked uh, for a school bus company about three years. Eh? Yeah. But only two times. The school board says the injured student has returned to school. Now, due to privacy issues, the board can't disclose what kind of discipline the student who pushed the little girl is facing, but they say they are investigating. Reporting live from Natalie Johnson, Zoraida, over to you. Thank you, Natalie.